Hi, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe. Hi, it's Rob from RobNoFerro.com with a quick review of the Massa 58mm wide angle lens adapter 0.45 times that has macro as well. Now, if like me you've got your, your kit lens for your camera, um, this is my 350D and I've got the 18 to 55 lens on it, on a crop sensor body like the 350D, 400D, 500D, etc. 18 is pretty wide, but it's if you times it by one and a half, which gives you the 35mm film equivalent roughly, we're looking at what, about 36mm. Um, um, which is, enables you to get a, a pretty wide field of view but there might be times when you want an even wider field, field of view when you want to get lots and lots of a particular scene in um, especially if you want to get that kind of wide angle look for landscapes where you've got maybe a rock in the foreground and then you've got um, a view say of a seascape or something like that off into the distance but wide angle lens such as the 10-22 to 22 Canon and Tamron and Sigmas aren't cheap at all so one alternative is these little things which are wide angle adapters which actually screw on the front of your existing lens and they're very cheap this one cost me about a tenner I think um, and it also has a macro feature as well which I'll, I'll show you in a minute um, and the idea is you just screw these onto the front and they it, they, they take the lens uh, and the light coming in and instead of sort of taking it from here they take it from here and bend it through and put it on and I was a bit sceptical to be honest I thought no it can't be you know that good um, it, the idea of it just seems a little bit odd but I have used close up filters on my lenses especially my film cameras and I've had good results with them so I thought well I'll, I'll take a punt and what I did was I bought this one and I also bought a telephoto one as well a zoom one but first, straight off the back, bat I'll say the telephoto one not very good at all didn't get very good results everything was very soft contrast was gone and it just the images just weren't really usable but I've had lots of fun with this one I think it's definitely worth having in my camera bag now first off to fit it what I always do on my camera is I switch the autofocus off and switch it to manual focus that way if I, as I'm screwing it on I'm spinning the, the focus ring I'm not fighting against the motor if you've got more expensive lenses but well if you've got more expensive lenses you probably don't want to buy one of these um, but you don't want to be fighting that motor then all you do is you just screw it on and all of a sudden we get this much wider angle of view from our camera. Um, this one's a 58mm one to fit the 58mm filter thread. Obviously you'd buy the right one for your camera and lens combination. It'd be different for Nikon and Sony cameras and Pentaxes and Olympuses. Um, but this one goes on okay. And what you'll see at the end of the video is some example shots. Now, because it's a 0.45 times, what that would gives us is roughly kind of, if we said half again so when we're at 18 millimeters it's given us a 35 millimeter equivalent of roughly about 10 millimeters however what I have found is that if you've got your wide angle lens right at say 18 millimeters this vignettes quite badly you do get very dark corners and it's not a soft vignette so I found that normally you get it at a you can all the vignette disappears at about 22 millimeters so that would be the 35 millimeter equivalent with the adapter on of roughly about 12 millimeters 14 millimeters which is pretty wide you know that's a that's a nice wide angle and um, yes you do get uh, distortion in the corners but that's what happens with ultra wide angle lenses and hey this thing costs less than 10 pounds so you know what do you expect but if you're in a situation where you need a wide angle because you can't back up very far or you want a cheap way into the super wide angle world with massive depth of field as well then this thing's definitely worth looking at um, there's lots of different makes out there um, and uh, they're probably all much of a muchness to be honest I mean I've been on eBay and they, this is where I've got these from and they all look um, very very similar now as I said it also has a macro feature and if you want to use the macro feature all you do is screw the front off put that to one side and now and this is basically just a close-up lens and I'll screw that onto there and then put my autofocus back on 
um, and now I've got a close-up lens and I've got done some very nice close-up photos as well. What I really like about this is that with my particular lens setup, you know, I use the 18 to 55 and then I use the 55 to 250 which covers most focal lengths and they fit nicely in my camera bag, my low pro bag. But by taking this relatively small and lightweight extra little bit of glass with me for those situations where I can't get wide enough for the 18 I can't get far enough back to fit everything in and I don't want to do a stitch in Photoshop or I want to do some macro photography this little thing here which fits very nicely in the corner of my camera bag gets me out of that hole and helps me out immensely so for about a tenner um, I think I, this, I might have got this on second hand actually that's definitely worth it and I'll say again get the wide angle macro adapter get the one that matches your filter thread size so 58mm on this particular Canon lens but don't bother with the telephoto ones telephoto ones are bigger, they screw on, they're heavier it felt like it was going to damage my lens anyway and the, 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 um, the results weren't very pleasing but this little 0.45 wide angle adapter from Massa very good, does the job um, and I've been very very impressed and I'd rather spend £10 on this than sort of £400 on a uh, Sigma or a Tamron wide angle. There we go, that's Rob from RobLonphoto.com. Thanks for watching.